In this video, we will create a histogram from a frequency table using the column chart in Excel. In another video, later on, we'll be creating histogram from a data set using the data analysis tool pack that comes with Excel. This is our data, which represents the frequency of each letter grades in a class. Similar to other charts, we're going to highlight our data, click on insert, and click on the column bar chart, and we're going to choose the two-dimensional column chart. Now, of course, as we know that Excel doesn't give us a histogram, it gives us the bar chart or column chart, and you can see that there are gaps between the bars. We're going to fix that in a minute. Let's change the title to letter grades. And then to change the gaps, to make the gap zero, to make it a histogram, we're going to click on the bars to select them, right click, and choose format data series. When we do that, we're going to get this window here. And you see that we have here what's called gap width, which is already at 219%. Now, you can go with the arrow to decrease it. You can click here and change it to whatever value you want. Or you can click on the slider, press, drag it all the way till it's zero. And here we have our histogram with no gaps between the bars. When we remove the gaps, you will see that since the bars have the same color, you might be looking at just one big blue graph. So it's better to change the colors of each bars so that you can distinguish between the bars since they are adjacent to each other. We're not going to do it manually. We're going to go to the bucket over here. And we're going to choose this option, vary colors by points. And you can see that each bar now has different color. And you can easily look at the values or the bars, especially if there are two bars at the same level. Now, if there's any color that you don't like, you can always click on the bar itself and choose the color for that bar. If you want to make your histogram more attractive, you can go over here and choose whatever option you like. For example, I can make it three-dimensional. You can change the width and height. You can make it glow. You can make a shadow for it. It's up to you how you want it to look like. And of course, as we did with other charts, you can format the data labels to make it easier to show or to see the actual value of each letter grade if you don't have the frequency table beside you. Look for the other video where we're going to create a histogram from data set using data analysis to get in Excel.